I'm not here to tell you how competitive the job market is, especially in the data analytics and data science space. But even though the competition is very high, there are ways that you can use to stand out among candidates. And well, because Tableau is probably one of the most popular tools for both data analysts and data scientists, one way to get your job is to actually have one Tableau project uh, within your portfolio. Why is that? Because, you know, everyone can say in their CVs, you know, I'm a Tableau expert, my Tableau skills are advanced, but there is nothing more effective than actually demonstrate and showcase uh, your Tableau skills with an actual project in your portfolio. Ciao guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you a very effective and powerful uh, Tableau project that you can easily add in your portfolio. And this has actually helped me to land different jobs as a data analyst. And we are going to recreate it from scratch, step by step together. And probably just a few uh, great aspects of this project. It is super easy to present to anyone, both technical and non-technical people, because it's actually based on uh, COVID data, which unfortunately we are all familiar with. And the second reason is that this project embeds many different Tableau features so it clearly showcases your familiarity with the tool. And so before we start, make sure to check all the links in the video description down below because I'm gonna put all the resources over there. And well, let's not waste more time and let's jump into it. Okay, so as I mentioned before, the dashboard will be based on COVID data. And in particular, we're gonna focus on understanding how the COVID uh, program is progressing all over the world. And so the first thing to do, the first step is obviously to connect to uh, data. So I'm going to click on connect to data in Tableau. I'm going to click on text file because uh, in our case, we're going to work with a CSV file. And I'm not going to tell you a lot of things about this data set. Uh, you can explore it uh, in case you are more interested. So let's start now with uh, creating the first uh, worksheet. Okay, so the first thing that we want to create is actually a few key KPIs at the very top of the dashboard that clearly shows uh, data information about vaccination around the world. And so the first things that we're interested in is people that are partially vaccinated, so only with one doses of COVID uh, vaccine. And so I'm going to search for people vaccinated. That's the name of the field. I'm going to put it into text. And this is a cumulative data set, so I'm not interested in the sum but only in the maximum. So I'm going to select maximum in the calculation in Tableau. And obviously I'm going to kind of format a bit the text with the KPI and then indicating what that KPI is providing information about. And I'm going to also align it to center. And let's remember to rename every worksheet so it's uh, kind of more clear. So this one is going to be KPI one, people partially uh, vaccinated. Okay, and now the second worksheet that we're gonna create is actually very similar to this one. So to save a bit of time, we're just gonna duplicate what we just created. And this one, we're gonna call it KPI uh, two. And this one will actually show the people who are fully vaccinated, so with two doses of COVID vaccine. So yeah, just uh, renaming KPI two. And um, we're gonna put people fully vaccinated and as before, we're going to select maximum instead of sum and also renaming the title of the, the text for this KPI. OK, so now the third uh, worksheet, our third KPI. So again, I'm going to duplicate uh, what we created uh, just now. And for this KPI, we want to see the share of people that are actually not vaccinated um, over the total number of the population. And so to do that uh, is actually a few steps that we need to take care of. So the first one is creating a calculated field. And for this one, we are going to calculate the share of people that are partially vaccinated over the total population. Uh, this one is going to be a simple calculation that is the maximum of the people that are vaccinated. That is the name of the field over the uh, max of the population. Click OK. And now we are going to create the final field that we actually need in the dashboard. So I'm going to create another uh, calculated field. And this one is going to be the people, uh, the share of people that are not vaccinated over the population. And so that this is actually one minus what we just created. So the share of people partially vaccinated over the population. Okay, so 
now we have all the fields I lost them so let me search back what we just created so I'm gonna put in the dashboard into text so 0.5126 obviously we need to um, again update the text so show people not vaccinated over population that's fine click OK and then uh, obviously this is a percentage percentage number so what we need to do is to format uh, this number so I'm gonna click on the specific field and I'm gonna uh, select percentage through decimal places yeah that's uh, that's fine and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for our third uh, KPI okay so now the fourth worksheet that we're gonna create we're actually interested in checking how uh, different countries are performing in the vaccination so actually how many people over the population are uh, partially vaccinated so only one dose and how many people have actually fully vaccinated so two doses so uh, we're gonna uh, duplicate this field here that we created before and we are gonna actually look at the people are fully vaccinated over the uh, population so i'm just gonna rename the, the field here with the fully uh, vaccinated over population um, okay so this is fine and now what we are going to do is to uh, list all the locations that we have in the uh, data set so all the all the countries and now we're going to bring the people who are partially uh, vaccinated so exactly what we are interested in but also uh, the uh, people who are fully vaccinated in this way so with the, these two bar charts and what we're going to do is using this feature that is called dual axis to bring those two measures together always remember when you do this to synchronize the two axes quite important not to forget and uh, now i'm going to select the bar a chart that in this case is actually be better as a visualization and what we're going to do uh, next is to check the chart here so basically we are going to add the text into the visualization so i'm gonna take the the field uh, people partially vaccinated and actually bring in the number into the chart and i'm gonna align it to the right and i'm gonna do the same thing for the uh, show people who are fully vaccinated so bring in again into the text and this time we're gonna align it um, into the center like so now we're gonna clean up the and the visualization a bit so uh, first of all we don't need to show the headers so we're gonna remove the headers from the from the charts and then the next step is to actually sort the countries so that uh, we kind of understand which one is um, performing better so we're gonna sort by field in descending order and the field that we're gonna use for the sorting is the show people are partially vaccinated so exactly like this we're gonna close this window now we're gonna change a bit the again the format of the visualization so we're gonna uh, first of all uh, change the colors uh, i'm gonna select yes some blue and yellow for the chart obviously the artist text is quite dark so we're also gonna change the the color of the the text so probably white uh, works quite quite well for this visualization yeah and then obviously these are again percentages so we need to make sure to select the correct formatting um, so I'm gonna actually select the field from the from the uh, pane and uh, select the field yeah that is the correct one and select percentage so yeah that is fine and now we're gonna do exactly the same for the fully vaccinated people so again selecting percentages um, and then we are gonna rename this worksheet again to keep everything clean um, i'm gonna call it vaccinated versus fully um, vaccinated uh, per location and that's it and next up we are going to create a map because who doesn't like a map in a dashboard so i'm gonna change this field that is called location geo selecting basically country and as soon as I bring it into the pane, uh, Tableau automatically creates the, um, the map uh, view for us. And then what well, we're interested in to see the people vaccinated per 100. So I'm gonna put that into color. I'm gonna actually change colors to something a bit darker 
to keep it consistent with the other worksheets that we created okay um, and then now as we said before we need to select maximum instead of sum and also in the tool tip we're just gonna again reformat and center the uh, the tool tip so yeah this looks okay and then again we're gonna uh, rename the worksheet and this would be vaccinated uh, the yeah, vaccinations per hundred and this is a map and now our sixth uh, worksheet that we're gonna create something a bit interesting that I wanted to analyze is basically understanding how the GDP per capita so the wealth of the country uh, so we're gonna put this as a maximum into the into the pain and the people vaccinated per hundred are basically correlated so I'm gonna again bring into the date pain and select maximum for basically all the uh, locations and countries that we have in our data set so I'm gonna bring uh, details both into detail um, sorry location into details and uh, text I'm gonna again change into uh, blue colors and then actually what I'm gonna add as well into from the analytics window is actually a trend line in this case a logarithmic one to basically again show how with the increase of the GDP per capita or um, the uh, people vaccinated per hundred increases as well. I'm gonna just yeah change the format of the of the trend line and this worksheet is gonna be called vaccinated over the GDP and yeah that's pretty much it. Now we created all the worksheets that we need in our final dashboard what we need to do is to work on the filters that we're going to add. So the kind of interactive aspect that we're going to add to the dashboard. So what I do is uh, selecting the first worksheet that we created. What I want to add in our dashboard is uh, the locations of the country uh, filter. So I'm going to create a copy of that field and add it into, into filters. And we're going to apply that to all the worksheets that we created now then we are going to add this as a wildcard match um, this is the type of filter that i think would work uh, quite well i'm going to remake it in, uh, rename it into country then the uh, next filter that uh, probably is quite useful is the continent filter so we're going to do exactly the same thing so selecting all um, also apply to all using this data source i'm going to show the filter and this time we're going to select uh, the multiple values drop down and uh, we're going to customize it and also add the apply button okay so now we have continent and country and now it would be good to have also the date selection that we can use to basically add interaction to our dashboard so we're going to first of all create a parameter so selecting the start date we're going to call it it's going to be a date and this data set is actually starting from the 4th September 2020 so we're gonna add that as our start date and we're gonna do exactly the same for the end date so we're gonna duplicate what we just created editing um, selecting uh, so this time it's gonna be end uh, date so selecting end date and then the data set is actually uh, has data only until the 25th of October 2021 so we're gonna select that as our select and kind of the default one when we open the dashboard and now we're going to create the calculated field that we're going to use as our filter so we're going to call called uh, this one filter selected date and this is the calculation that we will need so the date uh, higher than the start date but less than the end date and we're going to bring it into the filters we're going to select true and also uh, apply uh, as always to all our worksheets and uh, we're gonna show the parameter that we're gonna then bring into our dashboard and yeah these are kind of all our interactions that we're gonna add into our final dashboard okay so next step is to create our dashboard now that we have all the elements that we need so i'm gonna create a new dashboard and i'm gonna rename it as the global uh, vaccine tracker so that's the name of our dashboard so these here are all the worksheets that we uh, created before so i'm gonna uh, put uh, start basically to inserting those into our dashboard uh, obviously we don't uh, need uh, this part here 
actually because we have multiple worksheets i'm gonna increase the size of our dashboard so that everything can kind of uh, fit properly um, and then yeah we added the first one I'm gonna add the map at the at the bottom again we don't need the, the legend there i'm gonna add the vaccinated over gdp that we uh, also created let me scroll down so yeah vaccinated over gdp and then at the top I will add all the KPIs. So first of all, I'm gonna add a container, horizontal container, so that all the KPIs can uh, stay kind of next to each other. So I'm gonna uh, put, yeah, um, basically three of them like this. Um, and then also I'm gonna create, uh, I'm gonna add another container, at uh, this time a vertical one at the very top of the dashboard. And on this one here, I'm gonna add all these filters that we created so that the user can basically make the selections first of all and then basically have a look at all the data. I'm gonna distribute uh, these contents evenly and also removing the titles. We're gonna clean up this, but yeah, this is everything that we created so far. Okay, so now this is the uh, final result. Uh, obviously, I fixed a bit the format. This is really up to you to kind of design it and uh, with colors and basically your personal style. So for the purpose of this video, you know, I uh, did it myself. But just to show you, as you can see, I've added a bit of uh, icons. I've also added the titles of each of those uh, sections just because I think it's very important to highlight what question you're trying to answer in uh, each of the with each of the charts and section of your dashboard then we have the filters at the top as i've seen as i told you the uh, few icons that i've added and just to show you how the dashboard works if i select for example europe as the continent the all the data gets updated so we have all the the three kpis at the top 60 percent of people actually not vaccinated in uh, uh, in europe then we have kind of the list of european countries with the kind of their performance, also cool map showing us also the performance of each country. And then the second section is actually focusing on how the GDP per capita affects vaccinations with the trend line. I've also added the very bottom, like our data range, uh, date range, sorry, so those dates and also the Lawrence of Water title of the channel. Uh, so yeah, this is it. and. Hopefully this is very clear for you to replicate. And there you go, this is a quick and easy Tableau project that you can uh, recreate following this video step by step. And obviously feel free to edit it and add your style to it. And when it took me a bit of time to put all this content together, so if you feel like this video was valuable to you and can make your CV stand out among other candidates, make sure to subscribe and like this video because I'm definitely gonna make much more content like this. And please, please, please reach out to me if you need any more help to land your dream job in the data analytics and data science space. And well, enjoy the rest of your day. Ciao for now and see you in the next one.